안녕하세요. Hello everybody. 안녕하세요. 리아나, ZQK, Ellie. 안녕하세요. Please let me know if I'm too loud. Hello. Jellybun12, Iridia. 안녕하세요. Hello from India, Park Ji Hyun Gloss, Nitty Mystery. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Kara, Kara Holowell, Heo LG Na CO, Vincent Low, 잘생겼다. <laughs> Am I 잘생겼다? <laughs> Rebecca, 안녕하세요. Hello from India, Rua Gaidani. Michiko511, 안녕하세요. Am I late? No, you're just on time. 안녕하세요, Raja Kacha Waha. 잘 들려요, 괜찮아요. 너무 크게 들리는 거 아니에요. Oh, thank God. 예, 감사합니다. 안녕하세요, from England, KK Ellis. 안녕하세요. I'm gonna wait a little more for more people. Love the background, 선생님. Ah, oh, yeah. Our website, Talk to Me in Korean. 안녕하세요, from India, Aisha Joya, L U Y C. How do I write my name in Hangul? Ruwa Guide Nani. Um, it's very tricky. I think I have to hear how you pronounce your name first, then I will be able to spell your name in Hangul. 안녕하세요, hi from France, hello from Romania. Yeah, as you can see uh, in the title, I'm going to go through a Talk to Me in Korean level 5 book today. This one. Mm -hmm. For one hour. Philippines, 안녕하세요. Wow, Philippines, Philippines. Wow, a lot of, from a lot of people from Philippines, India, Taiwan, Nepal. 한국어 시간에 영어로 소통하는 것 무엇? Oh, do you want me to speak in Korean? Then you can join Juyeon's live stream and also Kyungun teacher's live stream. Teacher, Philippines, Seoul, Turkey, Japan, New Zealand, 독일, Japan, Philippines, France, Caribbean. 안녕하세요, 여러분. Yeah, welcome. Um, this is our website, right? And as you probably know already, our um, the Talk to Me in Korean website is now membership based. In the past, you had to um, purchase if you want, if you wanted, <laughs> individual um, video courses or audio courses one by one. But now, if you become a premium member, you can take any and all of our courses for just. $12.99. So if you want to check out the price, you can click the pricing button here and go to this pricing page. You will be able to see this banner and then the premium membership, the monthly and yearly. So if you pay for a yearly membership, it's $93 per year. And if you pay for a monthly membership, it's $12.99 per month. But as you saw earlier, now it's on sale. So premium membership 50% off from May 11th until May 18th, which is next Monday, right? So now you can purchase a yearly membership for only $46.50, which is half price. Yay! Yay! 안녕! Pakistan, Afghanistan, 이 책은 어려운 것 같아요. I'm still on lesson one. You, you probably meant level one, impulsive pie. 어려운 것 같아. Can I have only one month membership? Oh, yes. In that case, you can become a premium member 
by purchasing this monthly premium membership. But it's not on sale, this one. Only yearly membership is on sale right now. And all you have to do is this. You can use this coupon code TTMIK2020 at checkout to get 50% off. So basically, you can click either this banner or this banner, this whole uh, image, or this get started button here. Let me scroll more, more, yeah, this get started button, then you will go to checkout page like this. It's not discounted yet right now, $93 per year. But if you click here, this, this square space, and then enter T, oops, right, T, T, M, I, K, two, O, two, O. And then if you wait a little, <laughs> you'll be able to see the discounted price like this, $46.50. And then you can fill in this form, billing information, billing address, billing details, and select either PayPal or to checkout, and then place order. This pink button. 현금이 없어요. Oh, 현금으로 결제하지 않아요. <laughs> you don't make a payment with cash. You have to have a credit card. Premium membership 너무 싸요. Oh, 진짜요? What cool stuff can we have in premium membership? Oh, that's a good question. If you become a premium member, you can um, take any and all of our courses, like video courses and audio courses. Let me show you the courses by clicking this courses button. Let's go to courses page. Yay, you can see all the courses here. These are free essential courses and I'm gonna go through this level five this one with this paper book today. And below free essential courses, there are premium courses here, like shorten useful Korean phrases, how Korean sentences work, learn to read and write in Korean, Korean pronunciation guide, 20 essential Korean phrases for beginners, Yagi for beginners, my weekly Korean vocabulary, yeah, there are tons. And you don't have to buy individual courses anymore. 안녕하세요, I'm Amy. I'm a level one, lesson seven. Princess love, 안녕하세요. Welcome. 잘 공부하세요, 간다, William Aguilera. Are you leaving already? Level five이에요, 기대돼요. Okay, so yeah. I think you guys are ready to start studying now, so let me start right away. Whoop. Yay! So today I'm gonna go over level five, lesson nine, because we stopped in the middle of lesson nine last uh, Wednesday. Um, we over we went over three simple sentences. And then we have more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven more sample sentences. So I'm gonna finish this up and then move on to another lesson today. Lesson nine is page on page 59. Level five book, 59, page 59. There are a lot of sample sentences. By the way, the level five lesson nine was about taga. Taga. 
Does anyone remember what taga means or what taga does in a sentence? Love this format of screen as the background. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Actually, it was a lot of work for me because I'm not good at like, you know, doing this kind of machine and computers and everything. But yeah, with a lot of people's help, <laughs> now I'm able to do this thing. Using this note as a background. Yay! 안녕하세요, 선생님. 잘 지냈어요? 네, 잘 지냈어요. 네, 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 네. Okay. <laughs> so, a lot of people said 네, which means you guys know what 다가 means, which is while, while. Yes, that's right. This means while, but there were always two actions, right? In one sentence. One, oops, <laughs> one action and second action one and section second action doesn't make sense <laughs> first action second action and you connect two actions with taga basically the fourth sample sentence for this lesson is 서울에서 살다가 제주도로 이사 갔어요. 서울에서 살다가 제주도로 이사 갔어요. What does 서울에서 살다 mean? Yes, Bella Cara, the subjects have to be the same. Yes, good memory. Yes, that's right. You have to have the same subject for um, these two actions. First action, second action, only one person or one animal, <laughs> one subject has to do these two actions. That's right. 서울에서 살다 means to live in Seoul and what does 제주도로 이사 갔어요 mean? 제주도로 이사 갔어요 mm -hmm. That's right 제주도 is 제주 island <laughs> 이사 가다 means to move somewhere so move out to somewhere. So, 제주도로 이사 갔어요 means I moved to 제주 island, 제주도. So, 서울에서 살다, to live in Seoul, to live in Seoul, and 제주도로 이사 가다 means to move to 제주 island. So, if you attach this 다가 to 서울에서 살다, Which action happened first and which action happened later? 서울에서 살다 first or 제주도로 이사 가다 first? Which one happened first, earlier than the other? That's right. This action happened first. 서울에서 살다가. So this person, maybe I, I was living in Seoul. I was living in Seoul, which happened first. But then I moved to Jeju. So basically, 서울에서 살다, this first action, while this action was happening, this second action happened. The second event happened, occurred. So, 제주도로 이사 갔어요, while 서울에서 살다가. <laughs> so, I was living in Seoul and then I moved to 
Jeju Island. Yes. I want to change the sentence to I was living in Singapore, then I moved to Seoul. Oh, yeah. Then you can say like this. Sing, oops. Oops. Singapore에서 살다가 제주도로 이사. No, not, it was not Jeju. Singapore에서 살다가 서울. Right. 서울로 이사. Are you living in Seoul right now? Park Ji Hyun. Park Ji Yun. Then you have to say 이사 왔어요. Oops. Let me delete this English translation. Yes. Singapore에서 살다가 서울로 이사 왔어요. If you are in Seoul, you have to say 이사 왔어요. If you are not in Seoul right now, you have to say 싱가포르에서 살다가 서울로 이사 갔어요. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, Jers MR removed wants to know the difference between 면서 and 다가. If you say 서울에서 살면서 제주도로 이사 oops, 갔어요. If you say like this, it sounds like you're still living in Seoul, but you moved to Jeju. Does it make sense? No, right? So it doesn't make sense. 면서 implies that you didn't stop the first action. If you use this 다가, you stopped the first section which was living in Seoul and then move to Jeju-do or did whatever you do after um, living in Seoul but if you use this 면서 it sounds like you're doing this action the first action and the second action at the same time so in this case it doesn't make sense you cannot say 서울에서 살면서 제주도로 이사 갔어요 Maybe if you have two houses, one in Seoul and the other one in Jeju-do, maybe, yeah, it can make sense. Oh, I get it. Yay. Thank you <laughs> for understanding my explanation. Can we use the future tense with the second action? 프랑스에서 살다가 서울로 이사 Oh, that's a good question. Yes. Actually, you can use the future tense with the second action. Just like Vicky Jolie wrote, 프랑스에서 살다가 서울로 이사 갈 거예요. Yes. In this case, you're just explaining uh, your plan. <laughs> you're planning to move to Seoul. Actually, this can mean uh, you're still you can, you can imply that you're in France right now, you're living in France, or it can also imply that you're not in France, you're not living in France yet, but you will be living in France and then move to Seoul. So it can mean both. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, difference between kada and oda, big difference between isa kada and isa oda. Oh, actually I covered this a few weeks ago, but let me explain those differences briefly one more time. Um, if you're here and someone is coming to you, someone comes to you or something comes to you, you can say oda. But if you're here, but someone or something leaves, you can say kada. So if you're here already, you are you have already moved, then you can say oh 이사 왔어요. I moved in. So 이사 오다 means to move in. 이사 가다 means you're leaving here 
to another place. 이사 오다 to move in 이 이사 가다 to move out and 이사 하다 is just to move so it includes 이사 오다 and 이사 가다 this is the neutral one Manila에서 살다가 서울로 이사 갈 거예요. Perfect. Don Vittorio Villasin. Perfect. Yes. So let's move on to the second, no, actually fifth sample sentence, which is 뭐 하다가 왔어요? Wow, this is a question. This is a question. 뭐 means? What does 뭐 mean? This is my first live class. I thought these were just vocab classes. I'll have to do back and watch the others now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm... I've been covering, I'm, I've been going through level 5 grammar book this month. Last month I did level 2. What, what, what? Yes, 뭐 means what? 하다 means Hada means Yes, to do. And 오다 means what? 뭐 means what? 하다 means to do. 오다 means to. No? Hmm? Yes, to come. So, what does 뭐하다가 왔어요 mean? 뭐하다가 왔어요? Actually, it's hard to translate literally. <laughs> it's hard to translate this Korean sentence 뭐... literally. What were you doing when you showed up? Oh, Bella Cara. Well done. What did you do before coming? Yes, yes. What were you doing before you come? What were doing before you came? Yeah, that's right. This means what were you doing before? Oops. Before coming here. Oh, no. Yes. 뭐 하다가 왔어요? So basically, what were you doing before coming here? Yes. That's right. So what is it that you were doing before you came here? 뭐하다가? You were doing what? And then came, <laughs> basically. What were you doing before you come? Before you came? Yes, yes, that's right. And um, you can use this phrase in two ways. When you are genuinely curious about what the other person was doing before arriving, like just li literally you're asking, you're just curious. 뭐 하다가 왔어요? But the other nuance <laughs> is um, you're not genuinely curious about, you just, what, what took you so long? 뭐 하다가 왔어요? Or maybe um, someone looked very 
dirty, maybe their clothes look very dirty, you can say, oh, 뭐 하다가 왔어요? Why are your clothes so dirty like that? 뭐 하다가 왔어요? Blaming the person, yes, that's right. What took you so long? 뭐 하다가 왔어요? Yeah, so when the other person is late, basically. That's right, 밥 지은? Why are you late? Yes, exactly. And the next sample sentence is 집에서 공부하다가 나왔어요. 집에서 공부하다가 나왔어요. Maybe this is the answer to the earlier question. 집에서 공부하다가 나왔어요. What does this mean? 밥하다가 왔어요. <laughs> Dylan, are you really? Were you really 밥하고 있었어요? Were you really <laughs> making 밥? Making steamed rice? <laughs> making meal? 공부하다가 왔어요. That's right. Yes. 나오다. 나오다. <laughs> 나오다 means to come out. So 집에서 공부하다가 나왔어요. Means I was studying at home and came outside. Or maybe um, before I came outside. I was studying at home before I came outside. Or I was studying at home um, and came outside. Yes, came out. That's right. Yes. And the next Sample sentence is 밥 먹다가 전화를 받았어요. 밥 먹다가 전화를 받았어요. What does that mean? 밥 먹다가 전화를 받았어요. Yes, that's right. 밥 먹다 means to have a meal and 전화를 받다 means to answer the phone. So 밥 먹다가 means I, oh, I was eating and then I received a phone call. So basically, what were you doing when you received a phone call? You were eating. So I was eating when I received uh, the phone call or I was eating and then I received a phone call. Yes, that's right. Yes, you can also say I was eating when I received the phone call. Maybe this is better translation. Yeah. Like you answer the phone and the, the other person asks, What were you doing? And ah, I was reading. In You can always omit, not always, but here you can omit this. To sound more natural. 밥 먹다가 전화 받았어요. 경화 선생님 최고예요. E R N Saputra. Yeah, thank you. E R N Saputra 님도 최고예요. <laughs> Zara, two actions happen at the same time. Yeah, that's right. But you started eating 밥 밥밥 먹다. This one. You started this one first, and then you do this action. 전화를 받다. And the next sample sentence is 밖에 있다가 들어왔어요. 어, 밖에 있다가 
들어왔어요. 밖에 있다가 들어왔어요. What does that mean? This is a little bit easy for me. Wow. Nice. Shay Hazard. What level, which level are you on? 경화 선생님. <laughs> are you calling me? Yes, that's right. 밖에 있다. 밖에 있다 means uh, to stay outside or to be outside. And 들어오다 means to come in. So I, oops, I was outside and came inside. I was outside and came inside. Or I was outside before I came inside. Maybe this is better. Outside before I came inside. I was outside before I came inside. 밖에 있다가 들어왔어요. Maybe if someone, or uh, as someone comes in, the person will say this. 어, 밖에, 있다, 밖에 있다가 들어왔어요. If someone asks, 뭐 하다가 왔어요? Or 어디에 있다가 왔어요? Then you can say, 어, 밖에 있다가 왔어요. Or 밖에 있다가 들어왔어요. Oh, you, you showed up. You suddenly showed up. Where were you? 밖에 있다가 들어왔어요. 텔레비전 보다가 전화 받았어요. Baby Lin Domingo. Yes, that's correct. I learned this a year ago on Talk to Me in Korean curriculum. 시간이 빨리 지나가네요. Wow, Zara. Then are you on level 6 now or level 7? That sentence is actually quite funny because there really isn't any other option. Either you were outside or inside. <laughs> That's right. But maybe you were uh, in the toilet, bathroom. 화장실에 있다가 <laughs> 화장실에 있다가 들어왔어요. But yeah, it sounds funny as well. 화장실에 있다가 들어왔어요. It only makes sense if the bathroom is outside. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a level eight, 경화 선생님. Oh. So, 밖에 있다가 들어왔어요. And the next one is 어디에 있다가 지금 왔어요? Oh, this might be the question. 어디에 있다가 지금 왔어요? 어디에 있다가 지금 왔어요? What does that mean? 어디에 있다가 지금 왔어요? <laughs> YouTube 들어왔어. You can say K K candy. You can say 한국어 공부하다가 YouTube 들어왔어요. Or YouTube 켰어요. You turned on or you came to YouTube. YouTube 들어왔어요. Or YouTube 켰어요. That's right. 어디에 있다가 어디 means where, right? Where? 어디에 있다가 지금 왔어요. Where were you? 어디에 있었어요? Where were you? 지금 왔어요. Where were you before you came here? No, don't change this to capital. Where were you and you just showed up now? Yeah, that's right. 어디에 있다가 지금 왔어요? 어디에 있다가 지금 왔어요? All right. Finally, the last sample sentence for Talk to Me in Korean Level 5, Lesson 9 is 일하다가 잠깐 쉬고 있어요. 일하다가 잠깐 쉬고 있어요. 응? 일하다가 잠깐 쉬고 있어요. Ignore this red line. I'm, I don't know why this is saying that 일하다가 is wrong. This is perfectly 
Correct, everyone. 일하다가 잠깐 쉬고 있어요. What does that mean? Yes, that's right. 일하다 means to work, and 쉬다 means to rest, and 잠깐 means for a short while. So I. This means I was working, and now I'm taking a short break. I was working and now I'm taking a short break. 일하다가 잠깐 쉬고 있어요. Yes, that's right. 잠깐 means short for a short time, for a short while. Yes, yes. Well done, well done everyone. Now let's look at the sample dialogue. A says, let me read the sample dialogue without writing the dialogue here. A says, 늦어서 죄송해요. B says, 뭐 하다가 이렇게 늦게 왔어요? A says, 지하철에서 졸다가 잘못 내렸어요. One more time. 늦어서 죄송해요. 뭐 하다가 이렇게 늦게 왔어요? 지하철에서 졸다가 잘못 내렸어요. What is it about? Oh, understood. 전소현. Wait, what? <laughs> sorry, I'm late. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, I'm late. Why are you so late? I'm sorry, I'm late. Okay, so you guys know that Someone is late, right? Which person? A or B? Which person is late? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh huh. That's right. Yes. A is late because A says, 늦어서 죄송해요. Which is basically, I'm sorry I'm late. And B says, 뭐 하다가 이렇게 늦게 왔어요? 뭐 하다가 이렇게 늦게 왔어요? This is very similar to, uh, 뭐 하다가 왔어요? 뭐 하다가 왔어요? We already did 뭐 하다가 왔어요. But now, it's, uh, it has 이렇게 and 늦게. 이렇게 and 늦게 have been added to this 뭐 하다가 왔어요? So you will be able to figure out what this sentence mean easily. Did you do? That's right. Yes. 뭐 하다가? What were you doing? 이렇게 늦게 왔어요. Uh, you came to late like this late so basically what took you so long and a says 지하철에서 졸다가 잘못 내렸어요 지하철에서 졸다가 잘못 내렸어요 here 다가 again this is the combination of 졸다 and 다가. What does 졸다 mean? More directly, what happened that made you come late like this? Yes, perfect. Yes. What were you doing? And what made you come late like this? Basically, yes. Yes, that's right, to be sleepy. To, uh, actually, to be sleepy is 졸리다. You know what? To be sleep, oops. 졸리다 is to be sleepy. Then what is 졸다? Aha, 
Yes, that's right. <laughs> to be sleepy is 졸리다. 어, 졸려. 어, 졸려요. I'm sleepy. Then what is 졸다? Yes, that's right. Uh huh. That's right. To doze, to doze off, to, to drowsing. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Correct. So, this slept on the subway. Oh, uh, yes, that's right. Nap? Oh, uh, not really. 졸다. 졸다. Hmm? 졸다 means to doze off. So, 지하철에서 졸다가 잘못 내렸어요 means that's right. You got off, I mean, this A person A got off on the wrong station, um, wrong stop, while because she or he was dozing off. Yes, this book says nodding off. I nodded off. I got off at the wrong station because I nodded off. I was dozing off. Yes, yay! Hide back. Hida back. Why are you so happy? You were correct? Yeah, that's right. Yes, I missed the station. Michiko 511. Correct. Yes. 텔레비전을 보다가 속제를 했어요? You probably meant 숙제, right? 숙제. 텔레비전을 보다가 숙제를 했어요. If you did your homework and watched TV at the same time, if you are watching TV and you did your homework at the same time, actually, you better use 면서. 텔레비전을 보면서 숙제를 했어요. Which is not a good thing, right? Tel, oops. 텔레비전을 보면서 숙제를 했어요. Versus 텔레비전을 보, 보다가 숙제를 했어요. What's the difference? What's the difference? 나도 맞았어요. 크크크. <웃음> Mary, well done. LOL, guys, don't watch TV while doing homework. <웃음> yeah, that's right. Oh, missed the station is expressed in the 잘못. Sarah asks, uh, 잘못 means just wrong. You did something wrong. 잘못 implies you did something wrong. And 잘못 내리다 means you got off wrong, which implies you got off at the wrong station. In the first one, they did both at the same time. In the second one, they stopped watching TV to do their homework. Y-L-V-I-K. <웃음> 딩동댕! 맞았습니다. That's the answer. 텔레비전을 보면서 숙제를 했어요 means I was, while, no, as I watching TV, I did my homework. And this one, 텔레비, oops. Oh, oh, I was clicking the thing that I shouldn't have. Anyway, 텔레비전을 보다가 숙제를 했어요 means I was watching TV, but then I stopped watching TV and then I did my homework. So basically, before I did my homework, I was watching TV. Yes, I got it correct. Park Ji Yoon, well done. This one, I oh, before I did my homework, I watched. Ah, uh, I was watching TV. Oop. 
This one is as I was watching TV, I oops, I did my homework. Yes. Ding dong dang, Eundong Park. Why is it so funny? Taga, <laughs> I watched TV and then I did homework. Yes, that's right. 내가 맞습니까, 선생님? Korean singing Jasmine. Sorry, I missed your earlier comment. 밥 먹다가 여기서 왔어요. They're the artist, artist. The artist, artist. You have to say 밥 먹다가 여기 왔어요. Not 여기서 왔어요. 밥 먹다가 여기 왔어요. That's the correct sentence. So that was all for lesson 9, level 5, and we have 15 more minutes. So let's move on to another lesson. Which lesson do you want me to cover in level 5? Last Wednesday, last week, we studied lesson 1. And then we stopped in the middle of lesson 9. So I just finished lesson 9. And oh, 12, please, 12. 12. Lesson 12 is about 이라는. I don't have the book. How many lessons are there? Oh, in this book, level 5, there are 30 lessons. 숙제하면서 Talk to me Korean 방송 보고 있어요. Oh, Olivia, Sandra, really? You're doing your homework and watching this live stream at the same time? 아무래도 좋아요. Wow, 아무래도 좋아요. Lesson 14 or 18? 18. Okay, two more people for who want to learn Lesson 18, which is about 은지 or 는지. Any. 18. 밥 먹으면서 여기에 보러 왔어요. Amro Adams. You have to say 밥 먹다가. 밥 먹다가 여기에 보러 왔어요. If you are eating, if you are still eating, you can, you have to say 밥 먹으면서 이거 보고 있어요. 1818. Oh, a lot of people want to study lesson 18. Okay, so let me start lesson 18 because we have, we only have oh, 10 more, maybe 10 more minutes now. Lesson 18. Oh, let me <laughs> do it like this. 18, which is about. Uh, 는지, 은지 or 는지. Yes, this is about uh, the verb ending 은지 or 는지. This is used with verbs related to knowing. Let me show you the cover of the book. <laughs> knowing, guessing, informing or thinking and to express the meaning of whether or if. It can also be used with words such as 누구, 어디, 어떻게, 왜, 언제, 뭐, 얼마나 to mark the end of a question inside a compound sentence. So, basically, there are two sentences like this. 이거 뭐예요? And then, 알아요? 이거 뭐예요? means, what is this? And 알아요? means, do you know? If you combine these two sentences, it should mean, do you know what this is? Right? Do you know what this is? Do you know It has to mean 
Do you know what this is? So if you want to combine these two sentences, you can use this 은지 or 는지. Oh yeah, a lot of people already know how to combine these two. 이거 뭐예요? 알아요? Okay. You can use 은지 or 는지, but before we do this conjugation, I'm gonna let you know which which ending you have to use for action verbs and descriptive verbs. If the verb is an action verb, you have to use 는지. 는지. And if the verb is a descriptive verb, you have to use 니은지 or 은지. So for example, uh, which, oh, 먹다. If you have to combine 먹다 and this 은지 or 는지, you have to use That's right. 는지 Because 먹다 is an action verb. But if the verb is, which one is the example verb? This is 크다. 크다 means to be big. So it's a descriptive verb, which is adjective in the infinitive form. So you have to combine either 니은지 or 은지. Oh? Then how do you know? How do you know which ending should be attached? 그 문법을 사용하는지 알아요. Yes, yeah, that's right. 그 문법을 어떻게 사용하는지 알아요. That's right. This 크, the verb stem 크 ends with a vowel, so you have to attach 니은지. You don't have to use 은지. So 먹다 plus 는지 becomes 먹는지, and 크다 plus 니은지 becomes 큰지. And this 뭐예요? The basic form of 뭐예요 is 뭐, 뭐, what is 예요? What is 예요? Does anyone know? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Courtney Daniels know the basic form of 예요, which is 이다. That's right. 이거 뭐, 이다. This is the basic form. And you have to drop 다, right? 다. And you have to use 은지 or 는지 or 니은지. But this 이 ends with a vowel. Actually, this is a vowel, 이. So you have to attach 니은지 and then 알아요. So it becomes 이거 뭐인지 알아요? And People say, 이거 뭔지 알아요? People often shorten 뭐인지 알아요 to 이거 뭔지 알아요? 이거 뭔지 알아요 means, do you know what this is? Yes, yes, that's right, yes. 이다 means to be, that's right. 알겠어요. Okay, I got it. Yes. So we're gonna go into 은지 or 는지 in more detail next Wednesday because we are running out of time. <laughs> but before we finish the live stream today, I'm gonna show you guys how to use our website a little more. Um, probably I should click this button. Yay! <laughs> so, if you become a premium member, 
Oh, before we look at the courses, let me show you the bookstore first because because go to bookstore hey oh yes now it's a bookstore page this is a bookstore page but uh, if you scroll down a little bit you will be able to see a lot of books but also the talk to me in korean <laughs> okay more 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 where's Thank you guys for joining today. Oh no! I'm waiting for... Oh, here, yeah. <laughs> here, talk to me in Korean level 5 Korean grammar textbook. This... Oh, okay, this one. <laughs> Not this bundle, the, the single level 5 Korean grammar textbook is on sale because I'm doing this. I'm doing, doing I'm covering this book uh, in May. This is discounted only until the 15th of May. So if you wanna uh, buy this Talk To Me In Korean Level 5 grammar book, don't miss out this opportunity. These bundles are 10% um, discounted, but the single Level 5 grammar book will be discounted only until the 15th of May. So let's move on to the courses page now. Courses. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, this is free essential courses, so you can take these lessons here for free. But if you become a premium member, you will be able to, for example, we today we did lesson nine. So let me click on the lesson nine here. You can uh, listen to the, uh, the audio lesson here, this lesson page. But next to lesson page, there is sample dialogue. So now let's listen to a sample dialogue by native speakers. Be sure to practice saying everything out loud. So you, if you play the video here, you will be able to hear um, native speakers. Like, oh, this one, Kyungun and Juyeon. Yeah, they act out this. 죄송해요. 늦어서 죄송해요. 지하철에서 졸다가 잘못 내렸어요. This conversation. You'll be able to listen and then you can go to the next page. You can start, uh, you can check out the quiz for this lesson. Normally, uh, uh, um, Wednesday, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Korea Standard Time. Yes, so you can start quiz, start quiz, you can click. Oh, I'm covering the start button right here, but yeah, you can, if you click on the start quiz button, you can check out the quizzes for each lesson. Yeah. Yes, that was it. Is the quiz multiple choice? Oh, that's a good question. There are a few questions. Uh, there are a few quizzes which are multiple choice questions and some quizzes are fill in the blank and some quizzes are short answer and some quizzes are um, you can, you know, like um, drag the answer to the right blank. So a lot of different types of quizzes. 선생님, 5단계 책은 얼마예요? 어, 5단계 책은요, 아까 보여드렸죠? <laughs> As you, let me turn on this screen one more time. And I'm gonna go to the store page.
Why is it so slow? Bookstore. Yes, here. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, it no. It's normally sixteen dollars, and but now, I mean, until the fifteenth of May, it's fourteen dollars forty cents. Yes. All right. That was all for today. Yay. Okay. So I'm gonna um, start from level five, lesson eighteen again next Wednesday. So if you wanna study unji and nunji in more detail, please come back next Wednesday. Thank you, everyone. Thank you again. Thank you always for joining the live stream and fighting. 여러분 한국어 공부 화이팅 하세요. 이 수업이 진짜 좋아서 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye. Have a good week. And I'll I'll see you guys next Wednesday 8 p.m. Korean Standard Time. Bye.